Good morning or afternoon. I'm Addie Gillum, and welcome to the 1900 Galveston Hurricane. Today, we're talking about the key to surviving this disaster and other crucial points. (laughs) Imagine, it's September 1900. The sun is shining, and it's warm summer's day. You're living in the third richest city, and businesses all around are flourishing. Everyone's happy, including you, and it looks like you might get a bit of rain soon, too. Little did you and everyone know, that little storm brewing offshore is going to be the worst recorded hurricane ever to hit the U.S. Next speaking is Lele about what happened during the hurricane. What happened on September 8, 1900, a hurricane hit the island of Galveston. The hurricane was a Category 4 on the South Fort Simpson scale. The hurricane was around 15 feet tall and flooded Galveston. The hurricane started on September 8th through the 15th. Many buildings and homes were destroyed. Next up talking about survivors and their stories is Lola and Josie. This hurricane killed many, but some survivors have told their stories. John D. Blagden is one of these survivors. Blagden wrote to his family about the destruction. One that did not know would hardly believe that that had been a part of the city 24 hours before. I could not help seeing many bodies, though I was not desirous of seeing them. John survived by being in a building that could withstand the hurricane. Catherine Better Pauls, on the other hand, gave her account of the storm. Catherine was not but six when her brother and cousin came home and reported that the gulf was very rough and the tide was very high. They came back later, later saying that the gulf looked like there was a 50-foot gray wall moving towards the island. Catherine Better Pauls recollected that the gullish incident that happened to her to her mother. She stepped on a barrel concealed by the water. It rolled up and she went under with it. She grabbed at something to pull herself up. It was the body of a small girl. Her self-control gave way and she wept hysterically. Now, Claire is going to talk about the aftermath of this tragedy. When the hurricane struck Galveston Island, there was not enough protection or safe places for everyone to go to. To protect Galveston from future hurricanes and storms, they built a 17-foot tall seawall that was 15 miles long and surrounded Galveston Island. Galveston also raised most of their buildings by 10 feet to protect the buildings from flooding. Last but not least, Kennedy is speaking about how to survive similar situations. Finding a safe place is very important to survive a natural disaster, particularly a hurricane. It can also be very important for other disasters too, such as tornadoes, fires, and many more. People who didn't find shelter had much smaller chance of surviving. These storms can be life-threatening and shelter helped a lot of people survive. And that was our podcast. Thank you for listening. Woo! <laughs> Yay! Really hard. Okay, Goodbye. Goodbye.